As you can tell, I'm not in the Isle of Man today. I'm actually in Tanzania, Africa, currently in Rift Valley, heading north towards a location called Lake Natron. Um, the drive that we're on currently is about three hours and we're just taking a bit of a pit stop because the road is absolutely bone jarring. I feel like I've been shaken apart. <laughs> but wow, what a pit stop to make here. The scenery is absolutely spectacular. If I just spin you around, you'll get a good idea for just how incredible this desolate landscape is. Now Lake Natron is a salty lake that actually sits in the Rift Valley and it's well known for its huge population of flamingos but also it's ancient volcanic landscapes. There's actually an active volcano there as well. And it's very much off the beaten track. It's, it's a little bit of a hidden gem from what I've uh, researched. We're currently doing the Northern Circuit in Tanzania, so that involves going to places like Serengeti and Ngorogoro Crater. But Lake Natron is really off the beaten track. Not many tourists go there. And I think that was a lot of the appeal for me. So I'm quite optimistic on um, the landscape shooting possibilities here. So we're gonna continue with the journey heading up there, uh, set into camp, and then I'm gonna start hunting for some compositions in and around the lake shore. So we've arrived in Lake Natron, and this area is absolutely spectacular, it really, really is. So we've settled camp now and we're just exploring the area a little bit. The light is still very, very harsh, so I'm not really doing any photography at the moment. We've just gone on a hike up to a nearby waterfall up a gorge, and I was considering bringing my main camera gear, the D850 and all the associated lenses, but I had second thoughts on that, and I'm very glad I did, because that was one hell of a precarious trek. There was slippery rocks, I was wading through rapids, um, I was kind of clambering across cliff faces. I even lost my flip-flop at one point and it went downstream and my incredible guide, Akiki, uh, ran down and got that. So yeah, it would have been a recipe for disaster for uh, photography gear, so I just brought the vlog camera. So it was a good way to kill some time, but we're just heading on back now and um, I'm going to go down to Lake Natron shoreline and do a little bit of exploring in that area and see if I can find anything worth shooting. So I'm now down on the shores of Lake Natron and this place is absolutely superb. But it's a race against time now because we've probably only got about 45 minutes till the sun actually goes down and I'm a bit overwhelmed with compositions at the moment. But I picked out my first one and you can just see it just behind me. I've got some people walking through it at the moment. Um, the little river here that leads down to Lake Natron is provide a nice leading line through the composition. And then you've got the active volcano of Ol Don Inyo Lengai, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is providing an absolute stunning backdrop to this shot. So I've just got my camera set up here and I'm shooting at F11, ISO 64 at 50th of a second at about 60 mil and it's providing a nice frame shot just here. So I'm going to snap off a few takes of this and see if I can find any other shots before the sun goes down. another composition here looking towards the active volcano again because it makes an absolute perfect backdrop here I'm just actually stood in the middle of a bit of a sloppy mess here so my feet are getting absolutely plastered in this salty mud but the composition that I've got here is shooting up across this screen we've got these nice reeds that kind of sit in the foreground here and there's a nice S bend of the river as it runs round so I think that makes for quite a nice shot. In terms of settings for this shot, I'm again at f11. I'm shooting at about 60 mil again. 40 for a second, ISO 64. We 
just returned from the shores of Lake Natron and it was absolutely stunning down there. But it's not an area that I'd seen many landscape photos of prior to coming here. So I kind of went into it with my eyes kind of closed to some degree. The only photos I had seen were from a photographer who I can't remember the name of, but they'd captured amazing images of animals that had fallen into the waters of Lake Natron and had covered themselves in like a mineral deposit and then their bodies had become almost, almost like fossilized. Um, quite amazing images and they really captured my imagination. I'll pop details on them um, in the description to this video. They're worth taking a look at. As for the area, I think it's an absolute knockout area. It's it's really like the, the land that time forgot. You could almost imagine a dinosaur just wandering in for your composition. It wouldn't look out of place at all. It's almost like you could wind the clock back 10,000 years or even further and the landscape would look exactly like it does now. Man's influence is so, so small here. So I'm now just gonna turn in for the night. We're getting up early again in the morning to go back down to the lake shore to watch sunrise, which I think is about half six. So that'll be good. It will give me another opportunity to go back to an area that I've already visited and um, hopefully unlock some more shots in that area. But um, yeah, tonight actually, I've actually just been out to do a bit of astrophotography. Um, I didn't do any vlog entries on that because I was actually joined by some local Maasai guys who really took a real interest in what I was doing. So I didn't really want to spoil that by um, doing any video entries. But yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, they showed me some standout trees in the area. So what I was looking for was simple silhouette of trees sitting against the kind of open expanse of this landscape. Um, so I took a, a few different shots of different trees and wow, the Milky Way was just sitting in the perfect position, just arcing over the top of the scene. And um, yeah, I think, it, I think I've got some really, really nice shots there. There's so little light pollution up here, it's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever been anywhere where there's quite so little light pollution. It's now early morning and we've come down to the shores of Lake Natron again. And I think I've picked out composition. Um, there's an awful lot going on here. There's, um, there's like beds of reeds, there's little channels of water that you can see. There's kind of salt crusted kind of um, boulders and logs. There's quite a lot that could potentially work with the foreground, but I don't have enough time to really go out and search for them because that sun is just rising right now. So I've picked out a shot here, which you can see behind me, and I've got a nice channel of water that leads out into the main lake, which is that direction. Um, and if I just stand you up, there's a nice platform of rock here, which I think forms quite an interesting foreground. So I think it's perfectly lined up, and just to tip it off, the cherry on top of the cake, we've actually got a really nice group of flamingos right across the mid-ground of the shot there, so I think that will work quite well. So the sun's rising now, so I'm going to take off a few shots and see how they look. You can see my favourite volcano, which has starred in all my shots pretty much, just sitting in the background there, and that's a killer backdrop. But interestingly, in the foreground here, we've got this kind of ridge of salt, like a salt crust that runs across the actual image. And then you've got this nice pile of kind of salt encrusted wood and sort of dead reeds that are kind of piled up against this, uh, this kind of crust. And I think it makes quite an interesting foreground. So I've got my tripod super, super low to the ground, as you can see here. Um, and I've popped on a two-stop soft edge graduate filter just to take the sky down ever so much. Um, but other than that, it's a fairly straightforward shot. So I'm actually shooting this at f14, 13th of a second, ISO 64, at about 40 mil at the moment.
such a beautiful area down here. Pretty convinced I could have got a lot, lot more if I just had a bit more time. But I think that's, that's the case with all these locations. You really need to visit them multiple times to get a real good feel for them and to get the most out of them. But yeah, overall, I think uh, the shots I got were perfectly fine. And uh, it's just the experience of being out here is just incredible. No other tourists anywhere. It feels like we've pretty much got it entirely to ourselves. Absolutely incredible. I'll just spin you around so you can get a, a feel for just how uh, utterly stunning this place is. It really, really is. So we're gonna head back to camp now and uh, yeah, get some breakfast. But I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some other compositions because um, yeah, I did, uh, I did spot some on the way down here. So when we were heading down to Lake Natron shore this morning, this is actually the composition that I spotted <laughs> from the car, eagle eyes. Um, what you've got here is you've got like a dusty kind of volcanic uh, ground. You can see it down here. And this kind of extends around the base of this beautiful volcano here. And sporadically, you've got these trees that just uh, just sprinkled across this landscape. They're very fawny kind of very uh, weary looking trees and I don't blame them being uh, placed out in this landscape. But for this shot, I think it'll work pretty well, focusing in for the tree and creating like a panoramic crop with the volcano in the background. I think that'll work really, really well. And I think it captures very effectively the essence of this place, just the harshness of life out here. So pretty windy out here. Um, for this shot I am shooting at f14, 50th a second, ISO 64 and I'm shooting in at about 50 mil at the, at the moment and I think that's working quite nicely indeed. just remarkable. I think I've got a, a bit of an infatuation with volcanoes. But sadly, it's probably time to call it a day here. It's starting to get pretty hot. It's about eight in the morning. It's already pushing probably the late 20s already, which is not great. Um, very, very harsh out here. But it's time to pack up and uh, move on. Absolutely spectacular and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time out here. I hope I've managed to get an array of shots that kind of capture the essence of this place. Um, I'm not sure which is my favorite. I'd be intrigued to see what you guys think. Let me know um, out the shots I took, which you think is the standout. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this area. Lake Natron, absolutely spectacular. And how on earth this doesn't get more international recognition from landscape photographers and tourists, I'll never know. But uh, yeah, that kind of wraps it up. Hopefully I'll be doing more vlogs um, in Tanzania and some other areas. But yeah, that's about it for today. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please um, like and comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time out where hopefully I'll have a Serengeti vlog. Goodbye.